G'day guys, it's Calvin from the Cartoon Company in New Zealand. Today we're going to discuss the flipping of the intake manifold on a 1UZ. This is going to be the non-VVTI, though I have done VVTI manifold flip, flips as well. The internet is, is an amazing place and there is a lot of information out there. But there's also a lot of people that either oversimplify or don't include all the information. I think I'd rather be long and boring than uh, simplify it and make it out a lot easier than it actually is. But it is actually a very simple process. You just got to do step by step. And the same thing applies too with all the information. There's two different versions of fuel rails on these engines. With the Gen 1 and the Gen 2 having different fuel rails, it makes a difference on the manifold swap. I probably should grab a VVTI manifold and just show that that doesn't fit on the early engine as well. I've done it before, but let's just show it on an engine. Let's get into this and we'll see what we find out. Old Yeller. Old Yeller is a Gen 1 engine. The dampener is on the left hand side, and I've done a video on the dampener. Throttle body is on the right hand side. Fuel pressure regulator is at the front, on the right hand side, in front of the throttle body. Now, the lower manifolds can swap, and the upper manifolds can swap. Let's start by swapping the upper manifold. We have a dampener in the way. I could probably fix it with a grinder, take off the corner. Hmm. Let's do that, shall we? Some material removed, and it's still not going to go all the way down without destroying that bolt hole. Poor, poor old yeller. It's been cut to pieces so many different times. And, of course, the throttle body's not going to fit. Oh, it's just a stuff up. We'll come back to that one in a moment. So I have here a Gen 2 engine, the 20 series. This one has the dampener right at the back and the fuel pressure regulator right at the back. Let's do that flippy thing. Ta-da! So that one's much easier to do. If you wanted to, depending on your vehicle, you can even flip the tappet covers. So that's really simple. However, your oil filler will be at the back. If it's a manual on a, like a Hilux or a Surf, that's where your, your clutch master cylinder will go. So that isn't going to work. So that means just removing the hoses and running them around. You'll also see here, there are some studs to change. So they are going to be too long. They need to be swapped around. Idle speed control wiring will need to be moved. Throttle position wiring will need to be moved. So the Gen 2 is the easiest of them. It just flips over. The top half flips really, really simple. Then you just change your hoses around. It's a little bit messy. Hard to do it really neat and tidy, but it can be done relatively simply. Let's flip the bottom half of the manifold too, just to show what we can do there. So we take the top, we put it back to normal. There is actually an arrow <laughs> on the manifold, and this one's actually already flipped. So, wait, wait. I just put this manifold on to store it, so let's do the flippy thing again. I'm saying that these are at the back and I'm standing at the front of the engine. 
which proves my point. Take manifold off and put it back on. Yep, 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 we're good. So that's flipped. Back to normal. Ouch. That was my finger getting jammed. So normal, manifold pointing forward, idle speed at the front, fuel pressure regulator and dampener at the back. So that's all good. And then the top can flip, as I said, top flips. It's all lost a jigsaw. And there's those tall studs. Okay, next thing to do, let's try to put a VVTI manifold onto this one. Let's just find a VVTI manifold. VVTI manifold, uh, this is the front. Let's just sit it nicely down onto here. Uh, hmm. That looks awesome. I just need to grind that off, I think, and, and maybe take this off, grind that bit, and that, that bit, and then it, it won't even fit, not even close. Here we go. VVTI manifold on an early engine. We've just shown again that the VVTI manifold doesn't fit the non-VVTI engine. But it, we did show how easy it is to flip the Gen 2 engine because the fuel pressure regulator is at the back. That leaves us sorting out old yellow here. Uh, the Gen 1 engine with the square rails. Again, still pretty straightforward. There's lots of different ways of doing it. So I'm just going to make the suggestion of how I'm going to solve the problem today. I need this engine set up for a manifold flip wiring job. So quick and easy is the way for me today. Um, if you want to remain to leave the dampener, and I do recommend leaving the dampener, you could make up a new line, hard line, from where the dampener is presently fitted and replace your crossover tubing to the other fuel roll and move the dampener back. Today I'm not going to do that. I'll show you what I'm going to do. Pretty simple. I'm just going to flick that manifold out of the way. Yes, I had already undone this. Remove the dampener. And when you're dealing with the dampener, make sure you put a funny star-shaped washer in, in the correct place so the fuel can get through. So that comes off. I'm going to fit just a normal banjo. Of course, if I was doing this in a vehicle, I would put something really nice on there. But this is a get it going today. And then I have an inline dampener. So I'm just going to jump into the middle of this video. It's a couple of weeks since I last shot the other video. And I've been talking to the customer. And he suggested putting the dampener in the place of one of the banjos. I thought, that's a cool idea. But let's check the washer sizing. So he suggested the dampener could go here. And I'm liking that idea. Have I know there's some differences with these fittings. So what I've got here, here about 16 and a half. So it means it's actually sitting outside the edges of that um, the fitting there. So I found the star washer that goes on here. It was, it was sitting down there and now it's under the manifold. Hmm. I'll get it when we pull the manifold off. So anyway, if we put this onto here, what it's going to do is leak fuel around the edges of the star washer because this fitting's got a bigger hole at the top than the bottom to allow the fuel to travel in through the dampener. 
So it'll work fine, but it would need one of these fittings put onto there to make it work so it doesn't leak. Great idea, but it does have a couple of problems. Back to the main video. Dampener still fitted, straight into the fuel rail, and manifold still doesn't fit. The problem is our back crossover pipe for our idle speed control unit. Well, we cut that off. Problem solved. Easy as. Uh, wait a minute. Cold start injector. What I'm doing has got a cold start injector. I've blanked it on my old yellow. No problem. Just going to flick manifolds and I'll come back to you in a moment. Swapping some studs. So the cold start injector needs to change place. I just unplugged the wiring from it. And if we turn it round, it fouls onto this block here. So you could either just take some material off Or just turn the, the fitting around. And then we need to extend the wiring, of course. I'll look at this first. manifold sits on, that's going to come out to the right spot, idle speed on, and the throttle body on. This throttle body's had the mod so it'll fit on there nicely. So I now have an engine with a throttle body going out the left hand side. We'd need to run hoses for the PCV. Auto speed is already done because it's had the throttle body mod. The engine breather. I normally run them underneath through the center of the manifold. Brake booster normally is there, so that would need to be extended. And PCV valve normally through the center as well. There is a little hose here for the fuel pressure rig, so that can be changed from there to the back. And the vacuum line for the fuel rig there like so. So swapping the manifold is a fairly straightforward job, but there's lots of little tricks that people could come across and find it quite difficult if they don't have access to some of these other ideas. 
I hope that's been helpful. Now I'm going to go wire the loom. That old yellow is going to be used to test on. And uh, if you want to watch that video, that's coming out soon. So I hope that was helpful. Talk to you again. Wiring version relay. <laughs>